Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Reborn with me, the one who doesn't roll his R's. I'm Tyler. Stop being a triple. Oops, that's Alphabet. first person view. Anyway. More pants? Oh, magic pants. Yeah, the magic. Ma magic. The Ooh, magic. look at those Evan Star tights. Uh, Day Star, Evan Star. Oh, <laughs> I know why you're looking at them. Jeez. <laughs> are those a little bit better than your current black mage robes? Oh God, are they? Yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> I do need the sad trousers. Oh God. <laughs> I think I'll not be getting them though, not because of that, but because I'm trying to get the other stuff for this. Yeah, because you're getting the uh... the magic tech stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to talk to you. <sighs> I, I, I know. <sighs> Just as we were starting to make progress, and to make matters worse, the caravan they spoke of was bound for Revenant's Toll of all places. Honestly. If I were I so in uh, inclined, I should think that the gods were conspiring against us. Nope, just you. you Happily, have however, I am not. Ugh, my eye has got an eyelash in it now. I would know. I would know more of this attack. Let us speak with Lord Harshfant and find out what he has learned. Ah, my oh, eye! My it burns. Oh God! Yeah, that happened to me a few episodes ago. Ah, uh, two recording sessions ago. Yeah, it's the worst. Thing. It's the absolute worst thing ever. Yeah. Uh, 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 hey! Yep. Yep. Hey! Ha! Hey! Ha! Yeah! Hey! Yeah! Ha! I am cunningly hidden. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Just, just read the lines. Alrighty. Ooh, cutscene. My sincerest apologies for the interruption, my friends, but the situation is such that we must act swiftly. Oh. If you would be so kind as to elaborate... That's what he was about to do, Alphanod! Shut up! Icehart's heretics fell upon the caravan bound for Revenant's Toll as it was passing through Boulder Downs, again. It was an ambush, swift and ruthless. In an instant, every knight was slain, every crate seized. Then, as quickly as they had appeared, they were gone. That's the woman. It would be an impossible feat without knowledge of the route. Knowledge to which only a select few are privy, I presume. A traitor! Again. Quite. We can uh, pursue this avenue of inquiry in due course. It seems to me that examining the scene of the ambush would be our first concern. You know where the enemy's vanished. Send us in! Send us in, coach! The trail is yet warm. We must act swiftly, as Lord Harshafont said, lest crucial evidence be lost. Mm, you have a, a knack for discerning uh, hidden truths, sisters. Why don't you go and investigate this ambush site in person? Hmm, pardon me. Oh, that means coming back up. An excellent idea! Inform my men of your intent upon arrival, and they will gladly share their findings. Did you say that mead is coming back up? Yeah, just a little. A little gassy. Meat. Okay, sure. Yes, it, it's the kind of drink that they would have around here. Honey yeah, wine. but it wouldn't be gassy at all, ever. How would I know that? I have. I don't drink. Okay, tell me when you knew that the Vikings had carbonated drinks. Carbonation's been around for a long time. Where the hell is Boulder Down? To the south. Oh, there it is. Uh. Can we make it around there? No, we can't. Ascension of the Saints. Okay, we're coming up to a dungeon soon after First Blood. Ooh. Let's see if we can get there, shall we? I want to see what this looks like when it's flying. Not on the ground. I want, like, I want to see the animation. Like, do its legs pull up like a chicken or a, a bird of prey? Or I would assume its like legs will pull up. Ah, uh, but I don't know. 
Because like, they're well, very much they'll the they'll drag behind them. You know? It's like, just looking at this creature, it does not have the architecture to fly successfully. Yeah. Then again, neither do bumblebees. So, maybe it follows the same logic. No, bumblebees just fly up really quickly. Yeah, but just, just looking at it, they should not work. The only reason they do is because they're so damn tiny. <laughs> oh, there was a Let's quote and I can't question, remember. Space monkey. If I remember right, there was a quote along the lines of... Um, the reason bumblebees fly is because they do not uh, confine themselves to the logic of man or something like that. The logic of man and the laws of physics. Yep. That's an awesome quote. I need that on a shirt. I can't remember what its exact quote is, but, you know, it's something along those lines. Um... Oh fuck, those mud puppies still come after us. Hmm. Oh, here's the accident site. Wait, what? We're here. We're, we're on site. Huh. Okay. Move mm -hmm. mm -hmm. along, mm -hmm. uh, There's nothing for. Eh? Lord Hushfall, didn't you speak with us? Then you must be. <gasps> Beg your pardon, Scions! As you can see, we have nary a crate behind. Tip the wagon for good measure, Adam. All things a bit hard, if you ask me. It would have been easier to just steal it. But damn sight harder to conceal it, I'll allow. Reckon they came prepared, probably with wagons of their own, hidden away off. Ah, but pay no heed to my ramblings. Absent of proof, it is not but speculation. Might be this might be as the squire receiving care at the observatorium could tell him something more factual, don't you dare. But as if he's awake, unlike myself, he was there during the check, not that his presence mattered much. Ah, yep. uh, hate you. There's always a survivor. Um, I'm so glad that these brigands are clumsy as hell. <laughs> there we go. Aerodynamically, the bumblebee shouldn't be able to fly. But the bumblebee doesn't know, so it uh, goes on flying anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a fond memory. What's it from? What's it from? Oh. What is it a quote of? I don't know. One minute. Anyway, dynamically, the bumblebee bee shouldn't be able to fly, but the bee uh, goes on flying anyway, so because it doesn't know, was by Mary Kay Ash. Whoever that is. <sighs> Fine, who was Mary Aha, Kay Ash? I was right. Ash. Apparently, she was an American businesswoman. Huh, interesting. Yeah. You've come to ask about the attack, haven't you? We came upon them before the entrance to the Hall of the Seven Echoes. Pilgrims we marked them as, lost and ill-equipped for a journey further north. Our leader cut out to them, but one stepped forward to answer. Slowly she approached her, silver hair flowing in the wind like melting snow. Just a young girl, I thought. Some poor lost lamb in search of salvation. Our leader must have thought the same, else why would he let her draw so close? exchanged some words I couldn't hear and she leaned forward as if to kiss his cheek. Then he sighed and crumbled to the ground. I didn't know what happened till I saw the snow turn red. Then there was red everywhere I looked. I tried to fight but took a blow to the head and by the time I came to the others were dead and the heretics were unloading the wagon. I couldn't. I mean they'd have killed me so, so I just lay there and listened. Isart's people stoke, spoke of deliverance and resurrection and they spoke of Shiva. Finally! You finished? Yes. Finally, we're going after Shiva! <laughs> it's about time! I wanted to kick your diamond dusting ass this entire game. Ah, <sighs> you've returned. What news do you have for us? Oh, yeah, apparently they, like, tossed the caravan over on his side. Oh, it's your. Okay. Anyway, apparently she founded Mary Kay Cosmetics. Like Mary Kay and Ashley? 
Maida K. Ash as her full name. It's pretty close to the Olsen twins. I've spoken Alpha and Adeline, just waiting for Harsh. I know. It seems that Lady Iceheart does not scruple to sully her hands with blood. Who is this Shiva she heretics, the heretic spoke of? Have you not <coughs> have you not read a single line of the of the Enchiridion, Master Elfinod? Shiva was a traitor to Kith and Kin, an apostate who laid down with dragons. Oh Well Okay then. Mm hmm now, now, we cannot expect all foreigners to know Ishgardian scripture so well, particularly when it concerns the patron saint of heretics. Wait. You say that she's the patron saint? Oh no. It all makes sense now. Lord Harshafont, what is the cargo, uh, caravan's cargo? Yeah, if I recall correctly, the Diamond Forge has requested a rather large quantity of crystals. Do you not see? Aceheart and our followers intend to summon Shiva, as a beast tribe would a primal. Why else would they go to such lengths to secure the crystals? I shall inform the Lord Commander at once. Lord Hushafant, you would agree that discretion is a paramount concern? Of course. Send us! We'll do it! Kill them all! I trust we can count on your continued support, Master Althanod. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn swore to combat the primal threat. Our support is given willingly. I will need to send word of my bre to my brethren and revenant's toll. Our entire order must turn its efforts into the prevention of this summoning. Naturally, that includes you, though I am sure you would have not uh, missed this for the world. Somebody has to go there and actually beat the bitch. Someone actually has to survive more than 10 seconds. Well, let's just get those Evan Star tights. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder uh, if we can ever get this stuff again. We must be able to somehow. Glow boots. Try on. Oh! Boots are good. Oh, pointy shoes. That, look at the third one. No. They looked good until I thought they were pointy shoes. Not only that, though, but the revealed ankles. What, really? Yeah. I don't uh, see No ankles, ankles. I had shins ish. Oh. Yeah. It was hard to tell, because I thought it was the same fabric when it was my scales. Yeah. Looks Persistent like I'm attacks on our caravan seem to be little more than a nuisance at first. The head attacks were a problem, to be sure, but a relatively minor one. That was before we began to get all the outfits. That was before we discerned the purpose behind their attacks, of course. No, they have my undivided attention. Yeah, I was wondering the same, that's why I went and said it. After apprising Minfilia of the situation, I shall uh, summon the unit of Crystal Braves to assist us. As for you, sisters, pray join me in the White Brim front. Summer Since the, the uh, incident at Stormcloak. The Knights of the House Durandar have redoubled their reconnaissance efforts in that region. It is my hope that they have the information which may help us determine the precisely where the heretics are hiding. Given our mutual enemy, Lord Durandar and Duramount, I should be eager to oblige ours. I shall see you there then. Good. No, walk away, Alpha Dad, quickly. This trolling crap. Girl. Fuck your table! I don't believe in tables. But yeah, I'm wondering where you can get the rest of this stuff afterwards. Well, I, I noticed that there was a few places where you can buy, like, the other endgame gear. I can't remember where they were, but I remember they were there. Um, so I assume that once we finish the line of quests, we'll be able to unlock a merchant that will sell them, because they I have are... noticed that sometimes merchants will allow you to buy stuff after you've completed quests. I'm about to have a look and see if I can find. Okay. Well, we've got time. We've got a few minutes. Yeah. Um. No, it seems to just be a thing that you get, which means you must be able to replay it at some point. I think. Yes. Well, it's the only thing that would make sense, honestly. 
Well, been able to play through it again? Yeah. I guess, yeah. Hmm. Hey, look, we discovered a fade. Ooh. So yeah. exciting. Uh, it's only level 40. Woohoo. So exciting. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Are you? clears throat> oh, look, it's the tower again. Up we go. Oh, lovely. Can you press a sprint button on your chocobo? I wish. Or will it just laver in like three seconds? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Voice? The Scions of the Seventh Dawn wish to join the hunt for Iceheart. Your assistance is more than welcome, my friends. Considering the report I just received, I dare say your timing could be no better. We are all leers, Lord Durlamon. Oh, I like your sword! A band of pilgrims has been seen transporting a large number of crates to the west. The guard appeared to match the description provided by the squire who survived the attack. Alas, our scouts lost track of them at Snowcloak. That self-same frozen wall, which we speculate might conceal the heretic's hideaway. Suffice it to say, the disappearance of these pilgrims and their provisions all but confirms our suspicion. I have heard enough. My knights will join the hunt. Oh, he must be a death knight! I took the liberty of summoning a unit of the Crystal Braves to wipe from Brem front. Given the gravity of the situation, I trust you will agree that we must use every resource available to us. So wait, are the pr are are the Crystal Braves immune to? I don't think so, but yeah, I think we're just actually assaulting, honestly, right now. Ugh. Trying to prevent it first off. Anyway, these are extraordinary circumstances, Commander. It would be in our best interest to coordinate our efforts. Such is my intent from the start, Sir Alamak. Amarek, Amarek, and so it begins, my friends. Though I dare say it would provide an all too brief collaboration, Ace Heart will not elude us from the combined forces of the Crystal Braves and the Temple Knights for long. Nevertheless, a wise man does not wager all upon the success of a single solution. There may yet be a subtler means of which we can locate the heretic's lair. Mayhap Lord Drillament has one in mind. Why don't we ask well, him? Because we're all set... okay. <coughs> <coughs> you know, we're all sitting there, right next... oh, hi. Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> <coughs> I like this box. This box looks interesting. Oh, have you seen this wall? It's made of ice. Yeah, it's an icy wall. Oh, that's a This bag full of shite! Yes, yes, excellent! I thought you'd like the icy wall. <laughs> oh, seriously, you're cute. Just, just from. My the... lady, everything has been accounted for. If there's aught else you would have us do, pray speak, and it shall be done. Mysterious butt shot. <laughs> I like her boots. I'm surprised. So you, say, you, you've like done all the discussion boots. while we were doing that, and so you're gonna send us to kill stuff now, right? You're like, I like okay. her boots. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I like just above our boots. <laughs> <laughs> No, anyway, uh, take that. Continue talking, look at the stops. Okay, star. It's really pointy. Yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll get the glow. Wait, hold on. What have I, what else have I gotten? Inventory? Inventory, please? That really does not look like that's healer gear. Seriously. It's getting very heavily armored for healer gear. Yeah. Gloves. Iron <laughs> Star Gloves, Astrum Arm Guards. Uh, Tiber. Sabatons. What? I think you'll like the outfit that's happening with a, uh, mage gear. Oh? Yes. You know you have fishnet for trousers? Maybe. Oh, please tell me we're getting kind of Lulu-ish. You're getting, like, tiny shoes, actually. 
tiny little shoes that show off the legs. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. Why? Well. Uh. Little booties. Did you see the healer one? They're just like chain. No, not chain plate. Oh, cleric! You're getting cleric gear. Oh, okay. And then there's the oh, dex, the the arcanist bard. Uh, whatever. Except it seems as though we are always one step behind. Our quarry ever just beyond our reach. Though I would like to believe that the tables are about to turn, I must confess to have seen, having certain doubts. A joint effort may succeed where others have failed, but it could yet yield the self same result. Send us! Fortunately, we are not without other options. I trust you haven't forgotten about Inquisitor Quillan. We have not. The mystery of how the heretic remained undiscovered for so long has been much in our thoughts, as has the question of what steps might be taken to prevent a similar breach of security in the future. Accordingly, we conducted an exhaustive and covert evaluation of everyone in White Brim Front. Though some were bound to ha found to have some committed certain minor transgressions, we identified only one possible heretic. This man has pledged himself to Isar's cause. He will have taken note of the movements of the Temple Knights and the Crystal Braves. Upon recognizing their intent, he may attempt to warn the heretics. This man's watch is to end soon, at which point he must report to Sir Jean Dramont in the yard. But have you keep an eye on him. If he ventures beyond the walls, follow him discreetly. Should we meet with a heretic, do not interfere. Simply watch and listen. I haven't see I have seen to it that he the suspect knows nothing of which could endanger our plans. Uh huh. You're talking above the kitchen in a stone structure. It echoes. Yeah. Yeah. People don't seem to understand how well sound echoes in giant open so places like this. With smooth stone. That's ah, thud. I can't remember what the name is. Sound oh. coefficient. Oh, whatever. Who cares? I call care. it echo log. I used to waiting, to waiting, waiting, waiting. Huh. I used to think I had a hope down sound production. Sigh. <laughs> mutter, 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 mutter. Oh, but mutter, skies! Mutter, mutter, mutter. I like the sky. Ha 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 ha! Mutter, mutter. None. Um, yes, the sky Where is I go? I'll just go away. You're a crazy woman. Is that a woman? The other one was. Hard, it's hard to tell sometimes. The sus suspicious heretic leaves through the southwest gate. Oh no! What is... thing to do? You're moving faster than me. How are you doing that? I'm sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> he got the bird and everything. Let's look at the rock. That's a very fine rock. It might be part of the stratum of Tao. Oh. The suspected heretic follows the road east. Uh, okay. Oh, oh god, damn. I think this might be too far away. Uh, I'm gonna be ever so slightly faster. You're not. You're way behind me. No, you're not. I'm not. Oh no, the heretic's in a different location. Who'd have thought? Look, chinchillas. The heretic is in a different castle. No. Okay. I'm, I wasn't gonna speak up by that. <laughs> Uh, no! Don't catch up! Don't catch up! Catch Go up! Away. I'm already in the damn canyon! You're not! You're behind me! Oh god! Oh god, I'm already in the pass! No, you're in the canyon. I'm already at the destination! No, you're not. There you are. I was surveying by the time you even got there! <laughs> but you hadn't. I had. So weird. Gasp, a cutscene. Hey, hey! Where the seven hills are you? I'm freezing my monarchs off here! Oh, 
I'm, I'm here, here, you blundering oaf. Why are you late? Standing on the wall, why else? I have duties to fulfill, you know. Your sole duty is to the... Hmm. Bloody echo. Lower your voice or we'll be heard in the rear as a white brim front. See, these people understand how sound works. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Temple Knights, ah, uh, mumble mumble, in snow cloak. Uh, this is what you bring me? I already know that about the Our comrades in the Boulder Downs are using the tunnels to smuggle out the crystals. Then before you know what happened, nonetheless, we found a way to get round them. If you waste my time about it, is that clear? <coughs> Thong? Hmm. <coughs> da, 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 da. Is it faster <coughs> just to teleport? Or? No, it's faster to get bar. Definitely not faster to teleport. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not. Yeah. So we have this one, the next one, and then the dungeon, by the way. Yeah, I wonder if we can get through everything but the dungeon this episode. Alright, we've got four minutes. I wonder if we can get through this one before that next episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do we come up with names for all of the episodes, anyways? Hmm? How do I come up with names? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Just watch them for a bit and then go, Oh, that, yeah, that was a funny moment. Like, then, like... Reference it pretty much. Oh. I never watched the episodes again. Oh, do you not? No. Yeah. I like having video evidence that proves nothing because other video evidence contradicts it. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Leaving bird feathers all over the kitchen. Ah, they're edible, right? Probably. I mean, you use them to bring people back to life. Well, did your investigation bear fruit? Mumble, mumble. There was a lot of mumbling. Something about tunnels. Probably sappers. I suspect someone's gonna bring a fortress down. I see. I shall have the man detained at once. His guilt is plain. <sighs> Would that you could have heard the words more clearly. Yet, the few snatches you were able to make out are nonetheless enlightening. It would seem the heretics are aware of our operation and confident they can thwart it. Comrades in Boulder Downs are key to their plans, which means it is key to our plans that they be rooted out and put to the sword. Yes, we get to kill stuff! Mm. I'll be taking those seven star boots. There's two minutes, by the way. Okay, we can do it. Cool. We have long suspected that the heretics use a network of secret tunnels to traverse the highlands undetected. Given what you've overheard, I fear the Snowcloak may be fiddled with such passageways, and that the heretics in Boulder Downs are planning to use them to take our forces unaware. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to happen. Contingents of House Dorandar Knights are on patrol in the area, and I shall order them to begin searching for the heretics at once. But knowing nothing of our enemy's numbers or readiness, I cannot say for sure that they will be sufficient. To put my mind at ease, if you, the people who kill everything that they touch, could put, assist my knights with the search, I know that you would take courage from the presence of so storied a warrior. But we don't kill everything we touch, only the things we want to kill. Usually those are the only things we touch. If alone is kind, we may catch these heretics before their plan comes to fruition. See? I touched something I didn't want to Yeah, you didn't actually touch me. Show them no mercy, sisters. The lives of our allies are at stake. Is you still didn't touch Or... That bear then? My armor is dead to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, shall we end the episode? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll end it there. So, we'll all leave right. it there, and until next time, all the best, and... Good night, everybody. Standing in the way of the camera. Like so, which of us do you think... <laughs>